Morning. Uh, I'm in the car park of the Cannon Hall Museum at the moment in Barnsley. And I'm just going there because they've got a um, some kind of display on what it's like to be a army person or a soldier 200 years ago. I can sort of vouch for that because having spent 15 years in the British Army in the Guards, I wore a 350 year old uniform and went to several palaces that the royal family lived at and also um, when I was there at three o'clock in the morning doing state opening of parliament and sort of things like that royal weddings and whatever wearing this 350 year old uniform uh, the, the buildings were like Windsor Castle a thousand year over a thousand years old so I felt as though I was that old as well so um, we're going to see what this exhibition is all about so I'll see you later bye Hi. Morning. What regiment are you? Are you? Thirty uh, third regiment of foot. So the West Yorkshire Regiment, which then became the Dukes, which then got amalgamated into the Yorkshire Regiment. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was in the Coldstream Guards. Oh, were you? Yeah. No. Yeah, we do a do a. Um, Thank you. 
Here's the pantry where all the food that was prepared, uh, meat would have been hung and preserves would have been stored. Part of the laundry, part of the kitchen, massive big tables, lots of uh, coal fires, wood fires to keep the places warm. This is where the wood servants would have been fed and the gardeners and people like that, the staff of the house would have been fed right next to the kitchen. And that's the kitchen we were just in earlier. And we've been really busy preparing food for the household and the staff. The wages in those days were very minimal, but there again, most people got at least one meal a day.
most beautiful pieces of furniture still in this house, which is amazing. The chairs I've just seen, absolutely very elaborate. Look at that table. That table is absolutely gorgeous. Must have taken weeks and months and months to carve that table. Absolutely superb. There's no country house safe without a ballroom. We're now upstairs uh, on the first floor of the uh, Cannon Hall Museum. And what I tend to look for is these survey doors. Um, these are doors that the servants would have used uh, to come into the rooms to serve morning breakfast, that sort of thing, to care for the people that are staying here. This looks like a, uh, a sort of a smoking room or a gentleman's room in the olden days. This furniture probably doesn't belong to this place but it's of the period, so quite nice, beautiful gaming table there. Absolutely fantastic. The picture on the wall here is very interesting. It's of um, Wentworth Castle, uh, which is in Barnsley as well, and it's a view from the castle, and it looks the same now as it did back then with this. I did a video on that uh, rotunda not long ago, and this is the, the stately home, which is now a college. Uh, in Wentworth Castle and everybody's dressed as they would have been in that time at that time the gardens are still worth a visit this furniture is absolutely fantastic this is an oak piece here I'm not sure what it was used for probably a drinks cabinet or something like that I just love the wood panelling and the views these people would have had from their living quarters outside Absolutely wonderful. I think this is another one of Wentworth Castle Estate as well. Um, don't know why it's here. Probably because the uh, Wentworth Castle Wentworth Castle Estate. Probably because the Wentworth Castle Estate is now not a. A residential house it's a college so it wouldn't be fitting to leave these probably priceless paintings in that place anymore but uh, this is as it looks it does look like this now if you go and visit that uh, parkland quite amazing nice to see that so that's that painting is off Wentworth Castle Estate um, and it was painted in between 1704 and 1767, that was attributed to Thomas Birdwell, the painter. It's oil on canvas. Going back into the room here, I tried to trace where these doors would lead to. There's a door here, but outside the room there's a staircase, so it's probably uh, a cupboard of somewhat. It's probably not a, uh, a door leading out of the room, it's probably a, 
uh, cupboard full of, I don't know, drinks and things like that. This is the other side of the door, so this could be a little nursery or something if you've got to, or uh, uh, leading on to an atta another attachment of a bedroom. Adjoining bedroom, that sort of thing. Same thing again, lots of doors, one there and one there, in and out of the room. I always wonder what's on the other side of those, maybe we'll find, be able to find out. No, nope, can't go into that place, so probably a servant's staircase, that sort of thing, which is, I like to see all that stuff. I like to see the narrow servant staircase and how they did get from room to room without disturbing anybody. You can see basically um, some of the doors in the other rooms would have led to a little cupboard like this. This is made into a display, but obviously they need a storage space just like we do in our houses now. Some quite nice artistic stuff here. 17th century glass fruit made in Venice. Really elaborate for that time of the day. Going up a floor now. Black oak. This wood is made uh, called black oak. Even the very elaborate oak staircase and the surrounding woodwork, absolutely superb, lovely, well carved. 
So that was a nice little visit. Over there is the entrance to the Cannon Hall Farm, which is a private enterprise now, and uh, a really great farm shop. And they spend a lot of time on TV, Cannon Hall Farm, down on the farm. And it's a great series if you want to watch it or search for it on TV. Um, but the farm shop and the restaurant absolutely superb. Everything. Take your children there to see the pets and the, the animals and stroke them and all that. And come here for the lambing season, um, which is superb. Lots of old buildings around there as well because it was a very active farm many, many years ago. And uh, now it's become an attraction. But the farm shop uh, featuring local produce is absolutely superb. I can highly recommend it. It's my local place to go for steak pies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this little video, uh, don't forget to uh, stay on YouTube, look for us on Travels Around Britain, and please subscribe. We just like your company. Take care, bye.